it's Jody. Today's video, I am going to be testing out a new piggy from This Little Piggy Pigment. I got my hands on a, a few new piggies to test out before they are released. Uh, Shelly Crothers, who is the queen of blooms, the creator of blooms, and also the creator of This Little Piggy Pigment, um, asked a few of us to test them out. So today I'm going to be focusing on one called Syrah. It's kind of a plummy purple and you'll see how gorgeous it is. Um, I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to be, I wanted to do a bloom and a swipe. So it's going to be a two for today. So let's go get started. All right. For this first bloom, I want to use this hexagon canvas. It is eight inches across, seven inches uh, in height. I get these at Hobby Lobby. This they don't have the dimensions, I don't believe. it's. Um, I had to measure it myself, but it's small, medium, or large when it comes to these hexagons. So I'm just going to put a little bit of paint on the spinner because my spinner is dry. And this is how I like to secure it uh, when my spinner is dry before... Uh, I'm doing any painting otherwise it will fly off and while it's not funny <laughs> at first in hindsight it kind of is <laughs> but you don't want that happening at all so I just kind of anchor it a little bit and it might it might you know slide just a little but as you're spinning and the paint is pulling over it's going to suction it to to the spinner so the pillow I'm using today is my Glidden Premium in Eggshell. I hope I have enough for both. Let's put this out just a little bit. I think that's good there. <clears throat> all right, the first paint I'm gonna use, <clears throat> I'm using, a, oh, and these are all mixed with the Infinity Josonia uh, pouring medium at three to one snapshots at the beginning of the video. The first paint I'm going to put down, and I just have a little bit left. I wanted to use it up. This is the Golden Fluid Iridescent uh, Gold Deep. And there's just a little bit left of this guy. might be too much but we're gonna roll with it the next color I'm gonna put down I actually mixed two paints together to get the color I started out mixing up the uh, the base with this Vallejo cobalt turquoise this is a fluid acrylic but I just found it too thin and I wanted I wanted a little bit more of a deeper deeper color so I added in this thalo turquoise the atelier interactive and it's a tube it's a bit thicker so it it gave a nice consistency when I mixed them together I just put like a little little blueberry size in there so that's what that looks like And then the third color is the piggy. I'm showcasing the Syrah. Am I saying that right? Syrah. It's kind of like a plummy purple color. It's really pretty. And again, I'm testing it so I don't have the actual, this little pigment container. I just have the little sample piece, but that's the consistency of it. That's what it looks like. It's really nice. Um, plummy, plummy kind of whiny color. I'm going to put a lot of that down. That's good. And then my last color is Golden Fluid Teal. Consistency of that. I don't want to 
put too much because I want the I want the purple to come through. And my cell activators I'm still using up from my Australian Floetrol paint brand video. I am going to put down, I think I'm going to do white and then black. I'm using two. So I'm going to use the Blicrylic Titanium White mixed up with the Australian Floetrol at 4 to 1. And then I'm going to use the Blicrylic Mars Black. Again, mixed up with the Australian Floetrol mixed 4 to 1. Oops, did not mean to drop that there. I'm going to do this fast because I know it's going to sink. <laughs> that should be good. did not do what I wanted it to do. I'm going to put some more right here and go that way. I feel like I'm a little rusty on my blowing since I've been doing swipes. <laughs> but we're going to go with it. We are going to go with it. going to do something right in the middle, but I'm just not sure what. I want to bring that over. Just a little like that. There we go. There is a lot going on in here. I'm super excited to see how this spins out. <laughs> There's a lot of cells in here. All right, I think we're good. I will meet you over at the spinner box. All right, I'm gonna add just a little bit of pillow paints in some areas here just to help it go over. are here. There's enough there. Let me just put a little bit here. And right over here should be good. All right. Center that just a little bit better. All right. Here's what that one looks like. Here we go. Ooh. Wow. All right, I'm gonna give it a little bit more hefty spin. Oh, 
Haha, <laughs> look at that purple in there. Gosh, that's gorgeous. It almost looks like a some kind of bird taking flight with all the movement in there. And I do have to get more paint off. Golly, that's really pretty. <laughs> I was a little worried about my my blowout. But usually when you're when you're blowing it out, even if the ends, you know, you're like, oh man, that really stunk. You want to concentrate on what's in the middle because as you're tilting or spinning, that's what's gonna kind of move out and, and grow. So if you're if your outer edges aren't very good and you're not happy with them, but your inner part is good, go with it. You might be surprised. I've been surprised myself. <laughs> wow, that is so cool. Oh, the purple. That purple is amazing. I wish I, I wish more would have came through over here, but this whole side is that purple and it's just gorgeous. I really, I really, it's, it's kind of chaotic, but I am really digging the movement. I'm not getting a lot more. Yeah. I'm not sure which, which orientation I like yet. I'm going to have to, but I'm not getting any more movement. So I think we are good with this one. Look like a bird in the middle. <laughs> it's so cool. There's that one. All right, for this swipe, I am using a 12 inch diameter uh, round canvas, and I have I've I had to switch my pillow because I don't have enough of my Glidden Premium eggshell or satin. <laughs> so the the other one I have on my bench here is the Pittsburgh Ultra in satin, which is what I get at Menards. Which is, it's a Midwestern um, hardware store, so um, if you're able to get it, it's, it's, it's pretty, I find it's pretty similar to um, the Glidden Premium. I, I use it again right out of the can, but I find that I reach for the Glidden Premium a little bit more. Not that it, there's any, anything wrong with it at all because I love it. I love the Pittsburgh too. Just put just a little bit more around the edge. Just like that. Alright. I think we'll be good then. I think I'm gonna kinda go across. I'm gonna do kind of the wiggly wiggly again and see what happens but i'm going to use this tool to swipe this i got at hobby lobby it's by master's touch it's their number eight <clears throat> so i thought i'd try something a little bit thinner to kind of swipe with and i'm going to be using the same colors save for the gold i ran out of the deep gold so i am i've got some mixed up of the iridescent bright gold instead for this one. So I'm going to put that down first. And this is the consistency of it. All the other co colors you saw in the bloom. So uh, let's see. Let's start right here. The next one I want to do is the uh, the the custom blue I made. Oops, that wasn't good. Something. 
is the turquoise blue. And then the this little piggy pigment, the Syrah. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Syrah, Syrah. I want to put a good amount on because I want that to be showcased. I lost some of it in my bloom, but that's all right. And then the teal, which... I'm only going to put a little bit out of on because I don't want it to take over. I think that's good. I think what I'm going to do is I'm because I'm going to put the cell activator on here and I'm going to use the same cell activator, the white and the black. I think I'm going to uh, do rows going this way. I haven't decided if I'm going to put the white first or the black yet, but that's how I, I'll show you uh, once I put it on the spatula. Something like that. All right. Let's see. Got a little bit too much on there. I'm just tilting a little bit off. All right, here we go. and see if I get anything else there. Whew! <laughs> I'm going to help it along with my straw. Oh my gosh, I, <laughs> there's some cells coming up and it's got all three in there. All right, that's not gonna do anything. These are all just gonna be pillow. All right, let's just move this over just a little. so cool. I don't I don't really want to do any <clears throat> anything to it. I just want to spin it out and then maybe make a few little wispies or modification once it's done. So I will meet you over at the spinner box. All right, I'm going to put just a little bit more paint on here. Just when I start tilting it a little bit. Just a little. Alright. Just a little spin. Get some off. Let's see what which way it wants to go. I really like these white cells forming out of the black. It gives it a nice contrast. And I want to get some of this <laughs> off over here. I'd like to save some of the bigger stuff over here if I can. I'm just going to go this way. Take it off. 
off over here. Yeah, I think <laughs> these cells are growing really huge. I think it's just the way it's the paint is stretching and how it's spinning. I've had a few of you ask me uh, in the last couple of swipes how, how the cells have grown so big. And I think it's just from <laughs> it's just from the, the spinning and, and the way it's moving around. Because this one just grew enormous. <laughs> down just a little All right, just another little spin yeah I'm really liking this I'm really liking this a lot I almost want this to touch up there I almost want this to touch here and this to touch there so Got, I think I've got enough paint on here just to move these down just a little and then back up to get what I want without losing too much. Okay. And I'm going to bring this back. Maybe I maybe I don't. Maybe I want to leave that that black up there. I don't think it has to touch. I think we're, I think we're almost there. Just gonna give it one more little overall spin. Oh, I did get it to to go up a little bit, and I think that's. That's about good. And, ooh, I like it that way. <laughs> I like it on the side. That looks really neat. Or with it on the bottom. Jeez, I don't know which way I like it. I like it always. <laughs> that purple. Look at that. And I, I think we're good. I think we're good. like I'm going to get cleaned up and I will bring it over for the flyover of both of these pieces. All right, here's the flyover of this one. I'm still not sure of the orientation yet, but I just love that purple in there. I wasn't sure about these colors together, those cells right there with that blue peeking through surrounded by the purple are amazing. And this looks like there's a light behind there. There's so much going on in this piece. It's like everywhere you look, it's, it's something different, but it pulls together all in one in one little piece too. The cells, I'm just floored. Like what? <laughs> I love the I love the shimmer of that that purple, that plummy purple color. So pretty, and those little cells right there. This almost looks like um, a Pegasus with the with the hooves and the wings over here. As I'm pointing with my camera, and you're getting dizzy. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> but there's what that looks like hole, and I I still am not sure on the orientation, but it's a hexagon, so we'll figure it out. All right, here is the flyover of the second one. I'm gonna go the other way because <laughs> I have it in a different spot but I just love I love those cells right there in this purple it almost looks like it's moving into a sunset over here so cool oh, these cells turned out just fantastic 
And these ones over here just expanded. And, you know, like I said, I think it's just how it's spun and how it attaches and then just stretches out. See, I really like these, uh, the white cells that come up. I think they're super cool. And I have not decided on the orientation of this yet. <laughs> I've turned it and turned it and I just can't get it yet, but I'm really digging it. So once these two are dry, I will be back with the dried results. And I'm back to show you the dried results of the two pieces you just saw me do. The first one, the little, the bloom. <laughs> it is super chaotic. I'm not as sure about it as I as I was uh, with it wet, but I do love that purple in there, and I have not settled on an orientation yet, but it did dry beautifully. See, told you it was chaotic. <laughs> I love that gold and that and this this purple here. I'm trying to capture it without the light too much, but it's kind of hard. <laughs> I need the light on to show it to you. <laughs> bring you in for some of the detail of it though there's just so many cool looking cells in here I just I absolutely I do dig it it's just very chaotic <laughs> definitely gonna resin this one I want to get this this shimmer out and this out so there's that first one and the second one it's still kind of uh, wet in the middle so I'm going to be careful how I show you get all that in oh look at that that purple and the gold in there oh geez this one's my favorite out of the two this is definitely my favorite Let me bring you in to show you some of the detail I love those cells I can't point right there but those right there are probably my favorite cells. And then those in there. Actually, you know, there's just too many. <laughs> I can't point with my camera. <laughs> but I'll give you a close up. It's mostly, it's drying beautifully. It's just a little bit, a little tacky in the middle and I don't want to, I don't want to disturb it. I kind of like I'm still not settled on the orientation. I kind of like it either this way or this way. What do you think? I want to hear your thoughts on the orientation of these two. Because I, I have I have a, a few different ways I kind of like it, and I'm not quite sure yet. But I, I, almost, I almost like it this way. But just the... This is definitely going to be resin also. I'm super pleased with both of these. So that's the second one. So I want to hear what you think. <laughs> that was really a lot of fun. And I love that new piggy, the Syrah. I feel like I'm not saying it right. <laughs> if I'm saying it wrong, please tell me. <laughs> uh, that plummy purple color is just gorgeous. Um, I'm not sure when it's going to be coming out, but it will be coming out in, in the next pigment new pigment release. So stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I had fun creating it. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching.